Hello, my name is Steve Flanders, and today I'd like to talk about Log Insight use cases. Log Insight is a data analytics and collection tool from VMware that really allows you to get deep knowledge about anything within your infrastructure. But let's go ahead and demonstrate some of that. Before I do, a quick introduction. My name is Steve Flanders. I am a consulting architect on the Log Insight team. I'm part of what's called the Customer Oriented R&D Group. So I'm very interested in feedback between users of Log Insight and uh, bringing that feedback back to the engineering teams. If you want to learn a little bit more about me, go ahead and take a look at my blog or follow me on Twitter. I have a lot of good Log Insight information up there for you. So what can you use Log Insight for? That's really the question that I want to answer for you today. And there's just so much you can do with Log Insight. I only have 15 minutes, so I'm going to cover some of the big use cases and then uh, tell you some other ones towards the end here. So first up, it's all about unstructured data. Think syslog messages or text files within your data center. And then in addition to that, you can really handle your structured data as well. So it could be different formats, JSON, HTML, XML, CSV, doesn't matter. Uh, it could be different standards, so NetFlow or SNMP traps. You can send those over syslog, or we have a full ingestion API that works as well. Then there are different metrics, CPU, memory, disk utilization. These are just numbers or strings that you can ingest into Log Insight and provide some deep analysis on. Windows events. I listed this one separately because Windows does not natively support syslog. So Log Insight has a Windows agent that will collect both the Windows event viewer logs for you as well as anything on the file system. So for example, if you're running vCenter server on Windows, the logs are actually stored in the file system. The Log Insight agent can collect those, send those, and analyze those for you as well. And as I mentioned early on, the ingestion API, which really allows you to collect anything in any protocol and any language you want to write it in, you can send it over. It's just a, an HTTP request. So really the goal is to log absolutely everything in Log Insight. When you think Log Insight and you're thinking about VMware, you're probably thinking about vSphere, vCAC, vCOps, and those are great use cases. But it works for all your infrastructure, your compute, your network, your storage arrays. It works for all the VMs on top of that, both the operating system and all the applications. And you really need to have a log sample from all those devices to get some true value out of the product. And let's talk about some of those use cases. In addition to data collection, you have data analysis. So now that you've got all your logs in a central location, you need to be able to view them and be able to decipher what's good, what's bad, what you need to be alerted on. And log in of content packs to do that for you. Content packs are free plugins in the Log Insight that have different dashboards, queries, alerts, and extracted fields for you. They really do the work for you, so you don't have to find the needle in the haystack. You still have the ability of driving down deeper into the logs if you need to, but assuming you're running some standard product and there are a variety of content packs available in VMware Solution Exchange, you can get a lot of that deep knowledge automatically. So be sure to check those out. The first use case I want to talk to you about today is troubleshooting and root cause analysis. It's really one of the driving factors to use Log Insight today. And I'd like to demonstrate that through the vSphere content pack, which comes installed by default, as Log Insight has deep integration with both VC, uh, vSphere and vCOps today. Now, one of the dashboards available is known as the General Problems Dashboard. And really, the goal here is that no results should be returned for any of the widgets. If you're seeing results, and that means that there's a problem in your environment. And you can see from this visualization here, there are a slew of different problems going on. Now, I'll drill down into one of these widgets just to make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. vSphere problem events by type. And you can see, based on the legend on the right, there's storage issues, there's heartbeat issues, core dumps, there looks like a network DHCP issue, the scratch space isn't configured. These, these point to configuration issues in your environment. These may point to potential outages in your environment that you're going to want to resolve. All of that's available in the general uh, problems dashboard of the vSphere content pack for you. Since VMware wrote the log messages, they know what to look for. They have KB articles. They have the GSS team. They have QE departments. That's what went into building this content pack. And you can really do it for any data within your data center. Now, as I mentioned, the goal is no results on this dashboard page. It's kind of the opposite of what you'd expect to see in a logging tool. You want to see these powerful visualizations. 
you want to get the management information out, the reporting information out. When it comes to problems, you don't want to see problems in your environments. So no results is a good thing. So for example here, mach machine check exceptions, which would point to potential hardware problems in your environment. No results is good. If all the dashboards return no results in the general problems dashboard, you're in good shape. In addition, there's monitoring, or log insight like to refer to as alerts. So maybe you see a particular pattern or event and you want to be notified about that. It points to a problem in your environment. Again, the vSphere content pack comes packed with different types of alerts that you should care about. On the problems dashboard, you'll see critical vSphere alerts. And you have the ability of running those right on the dashboards page. And if you see that you're having results, you may want to consider A, fixing that problem, but B, enabling that alert so it doesn't happen again, or if it does happen again, you're notified and you can react to it very, very quickly. So in this case, you can see that I have some hypervisors that have a RAM disk that's full. That's a problem. I'm going to want to fix it. But we have less critical alerts too, maybe a bunch of different storage issues, as storage issues are common in a vSphere environment. Maybe it's SCSI, maybe it's NFS, maybe it's a path, maybe it's redundancy. All of that's listed, and again, has results would point to potential problems in my environment. And anything else available in the log messages, maybe it's network related, maybe you have core dumps, maybe something system interrupt uh, remapping, it's a hardware based problem. Again, you'll want to enable the ones that are specific to your environment that are issues that you care about. So how do you do that? Well, on the interactive analytics page of Log Insight, there is an alert drop down next to the search button, and you have the ability of creating alerts or managing alerts. So let's assume that I go ahead and go to manage alerts. A nice little dialog pops up for me, and in this case I'm looking at the VCOps content pack which is installed. I can select any of these alerts that have been predefined for me, and I can enable them. If I've created my own alerts, I can modify those. If I want to go ahead and create a new alert, that's fine too. I select the create new alert, I give it a name, I give it a description, I tell it how I want it to send, either through email or VCOps, and I set a threshold for that event. Anytime it happens again, when the threshold is met, it will go ahead and notify me behind the scenes. You can think of it like a query on a cron job. It's just a query that runs on a schedule for you and only alerts when you care about it. But you don't want to just do reactive monitoring, you want to do proactive monitoring. You want to know a problem before it exists, before it brings down your production environment. And you can do that with log messages too. One example I have for you here is I actually have Log Insights own logs. As it's an application, it generates log messages. So I can ingest those log messages and I can look at things like the ingestion rate. Now Log Insight has a sizing guide. At a certain ingestion rate, you need to increase the resources or increase the size of your cluster. Well, given the fact that the log messages tell me what my average ingestion rate is, I can graph that information. So for example, let's look at the average ingestion rate over time. And I can see it growing in this particular environment. What's really nice is that if, if I'm in a clustered environment, I can group by each node and ensure that each node is receiving equal traffic. In my case, I have a, a several node cluster here and you can see the lines all look very, very similar. So the ingestion rates are about the same. Well, how is this powerful? How is this proactive? Well, now I can just create an alert. I'll just say, all right, let's look for the LI ingestion rate, which is a field that I define based on the log messages. We'll go ahead and we'll create a new alert query. And I only want to be notified if it's 750 events or higher. Why? Well, in my case, I have a small log insight node and the ingestion maximum is 1,000 events per second. So if I'm at 750, I'm getting to that limit and I'm going to want to consider growing the cluster. Because if I exceed the maximum, at some point I'm going to drop events, which means I'm missing things. I could be missing problems. From a compliance security perspective, that's unacceptable. From a troubleshooting root cause analysis perspective, that's unacceptable. So this is one way to do proactive monitoring directly within Log Insight based on your events. But it really comes down to complete environment monitoring. And what I have here is basically a tool that gets you a core sample get you different layers of the grounds. Well, in your environment, you have different layers as well. You have the infrastructure, the VMware layer, your virtual machines, which have an operating system and application layers. You really need all those log messages to do true troubleshooting and root cause analysis, to do true compliance and governance tasks in your environments. So don't just focus on VMware. Log Insight's not just meant for VMware. It's meant for everything in your infrastructure. And in order to be able to work with different teams in your environments, 
you need to be able to say, hey, the vSphere environment looks good. It looks like a storage problem. Let's look at the storage logs. If they're not coming into Log Insight, it's a lot harder to complete the task of figuring out what is wrong. Machine learning, another key aspect of Log Insight and another use case. Once I forward all of my events in there, it's kind of like finding a needle in the haystack. What's the most noisy event? When there's a problem going on, which event is logging most frequently? Also, within the event itself, what different patterns do you see? Are there host names, hex values, text, numeric strings? All that can be extracted automatically by Log Insight through the notion of machine learning. So as an example here, in my environment, I just search for VPXA errors. And what you'll see is it says 1 to 50 out of almost 7,000 events. Well, there's no way I'm going to read all 7,000 events and see if all of them are relevant to my environment. But what I can do is I can switch from the events to the event types tab, and I'm down to 19 event types that machine learning discovered automatically for me. That's great. I can also see that three of them match the same pattern, and they make up about 6,000 of the events. Great. I'm now no longer finding the needle in the haystack. I'm really pinpoint, pinpoint already the things that I need to care about, and I can get rid of all the noise. Security. What about authentication? You're logging in, SSH. You can get that information out of Linux logs, out of your hypervisor, out of your switches, your firewalls, anything really. So I can look for something like SSD failed on Linux. And then I can extract useful bits of information. So maybe I want to get the username. I can just highlight that in Log Insight, hit extract fields. And then I can use that field in a query. Well, only show me events where that user that I extracted exists. Great. Now I can visualize that information. Show me all the users over time that have logged in, grouped by that user. Now I have a stacked bar chart. That visualization isn't powerful enough for you? No problem. Let's change to a bubble chart. Not only will you tell me what users are logging in, also tell me from what source they came from. Very, very powerful. And when you're done, you can get these nice dashboards. So for example, here I show all failed SSH authentications from user, from source, from destination, what protocol they came in on, what type of device they're using. All that's available in your log messages today. Auditing. How about all the ESXi CLI commands someone's run on your hypervisor? It's in log messages. All that can come in. So here's a visualization of all the host names, all the users, and what command they ran. Well, VI, Vim, that might be cause for concern, could be a configuration change. RM, remove, that could be cause for concern. I can alert based on what commands people are issuing as well. Or really anything I can report on. So for example, here's the weather. I just pulled this off a JSON string from a Weather Channel site. Now I can see the average temperature, I can see the wind, I can see the barometer. All that information could then be ingested as though it's a log message. Or how about your ILOs from your servers? You want to know different firmware versions? You want to know the temperatures of your servers? All that information is available in log messages. And all that can be analyzed in Log Insight. These are just different use cases to, serve, to solve different needs in my environment. Inventory. So VCOps, we have tight integration with VCOps. VCOps gives you inventory information. But you don't have to use Log Insight and VCOps together. So what if I just have Log Insight? Well, I can get the same inventory information from my log messages. How many vCenters are logging? How many hosts? How many port groups? How many uh, data stores? How many virtual machines? How many did I deploy? How many did, did I delete? All that's available in log messages. These are key metrics that you can use for telemetry, for reporting, for finding issues in your environment. So at the end of the day, you can really collect logs and analyze them for a variety of different reasons. And I didn't even have a chance to cover all of them. There are some other ones here, like configuration management, malware detection. How about get commits? What a user committed, what time of day? What about security VPN logs? So when they logged in, was it successful or not? Firewall, was a port blocked or not? All of this can be analyzed in Log Insight, and that's why you really need the true core sample to find issues end to end in your environment. So what can you use Log Insight for? Really, the answer is, endless possibilities. Whatever is available as a log message, whatever is available in text, you can analyze in Log Insight today. So I encourage you to go ahead and try it out. There's a free 60-day eval on my.com.
We also have tech previews available on loginsight.vmware.com, another free portal uh, to ask questions, to get features, and to try the latest versions. Thank you very much.